everybody. Don't worry. I'm going to put my wig on for y'all. Just give me a minute. All right. Boom. We got it. Hey, babes. Well, welcome to Miss Serenity's Smith <laughs> live stream where we keep it all the way real. Mm -hmm. We keep it all the way real. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you click the bell so that you are a part of the notification squad. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. Yes. So let's make sure we... All right. Yes, honey. Okay. Yes, guys. Yes. Hello, ladies. Let me go ahead and give my shout outs because, you know, I ain't gave y'all a shout out in a minute. So I want to give, give y'all a shout out. Make sure I ain't got no boogers up nose and nothing like that. Anyway, anyhow, any hoo hoo hoo. Let me see what I could do for y'all. Oh, Lord. What did I do? Uh, uh, oh, okay. All right, so we got Lisa Joy 88, Pristalina D, Money Bird, Silent T Angel, Miss Jenna's, Miss Jenna's Family Vlogs. Um, who else I seen here? Tanika 213, Alicia Bonner, 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 um, Rihanna Le, Le Asia, Nicole Nichols, Kamara McNair, Nini, Child, y'all, Mansa Ray. Baby, I'm I'm trying. Y'all, if I butcher your name, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, who else? So we got quite a bit of people in here tonight. So I just want to say thank you guys for joining me. Tabby, hello, just Bippy, Silly Dolly. Yes, I saw you here earlier. Um, all right, so we're gonna be sipping, sipping on this tea. Um, <laughs> Dolly Girl, hello. Who else we got in here? Okay. All right. So if I missed you, when I catch you, come across, I'll give you your shout out for the night, baby. But we're going to dive in. I got so much stuff to talk about. Mm-hmm. Yes, honey. Let me see. Oh, this is right. This is right. It's strong, too. Shereen Hamlin. Hello. Dave K. Holland. Oh, my goodness. Hey, girl. All right. All right. Good, good, good. Oh, Gianna's Baby World Reborn. I was going to have me some Oreos, but I didn't even have time for that. So let's. I tried to make me a little cheat list, child, so that I could stay on topic tonight. Since we had such a great success last the last live stream Friday night, I thought I would come back and continue on with discussions of what's going on in the Reborn world. Um, so the, um, the first thing is the layaway. I have a lot of people, um, a lot of people always ask, like, do I do layaway? And then I usually tell them no. And then it's, you know, they, they don't understand why. Um, but Sharon Simmons, um, Mary O., Mary Lazaro and Shonda Brown. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna catch up with y'all in a minute, but yeah. So, layaway can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. It's just like anything else within the community. You know, you got the good people, you got the bad people, you got the sideways people, you got the people that you gotta just really, really make sure you dot your I's and cross your T's with. Now, layaway back in the day wasn't covered through PayPal. From what I'm understanding, through some peop some cases, you can be covered through PayPal if you do a layaway with someone. But, you know, with PayPal, it's kind of hit and miss. It's kind of however they feeling, whoever you get on the phone that day, on how they side and who favor they side into. So, you know, just be cautious of that. I know for sure when you're paying full, you're, you're covered. Um... A lot of people don't want to do layaway because of two 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 reasons. For me, I usually don't do layaway. Like if it's five hundred dollars or under, or I don't know you from Jack, I don't do layaway because um, I've did it a couple of times before, and people will like say, "Oh, pay like 
a few do dollars down or whatever and then you know they'll they'll ask for a 30 day layaway and that becomes a 60 day layaway or a 90 day layaway you know it don't matter if you're 31 days or 35 days or 40 days but when you go to going to three months and four months and now okay ma'am i could have got my coins way for sooner ja only gonna let me triple that bill you know our electric utility company is only gonna let me triple my bill one time i can't quadruple it and all that and what all that stuff so i need my money on time but a lot of people don't want to do that so that's why a lot of artists kind of stop doing the layaway thing on the other on the flip side is collectors get bored after a while something else new come out um Sharon around the way or Christina come out with something that's popping better than the dollar that you don't put your money on and then they just abandon that deal and move on and go put them coins over there on the other side so people that's why a lot of people don't do layaway but I did find out that there are still a lot of um artists that do layaway I hate doing layaway I have done it in the past but I do hate doing layaway for that reason um Shireen because I hate owing people money but however these dogs are so high, honey. If you ain't out here twerking and making money every night like that, sometimes it's layaway is the best thing to do. You know what I mean? Like that's the best way that you can handle these these dogs. Um, although you know, I always tell people like they'll say, "Oh, you know, I want twenty thousand dollars for this dog," but you can do layaway. I'm like, at the end of the day, it's still gonna be twenty thousand dollars. Can we get that down to ten thousand, and then I'll do layaway? You know, so you want to also keep that in mind when you keep putting out all these layaways, what your bottom line is. Are you going to, can you see it before you enter a layaway? Can you see you already got a payment plan in your mind? You already know that you can reach and obtain that, that, um, that goal of finishing off that layaway. If you don't know how you're going to figure it out, but I'm going to girl, I'm going to just give you a hundred dollars and I'll figure it out later. That's the wrong way to go into a layaway. So Anyway, I did find out, like, people like, um, who are some of the people, um, uh, I don't want to be giving out no free shout outs. Anyway, <laughs> I did put a post up on my page, my Facebook page, and, um, I did, uh, do a, in Reborn's, uh, Doll Addicts group on Facebook where there's a lot of people that do layaway. Um, I was actually surprised to see that Chrissy, she does layaway, um, there is, um, I know Deborah J Jadick does layaway. Um, there was quite a bit of people that actually, um, thank you. There was actually a, quite a bit of, <laughs> quite about a, quite a bit of people that does, um, layaway. I have been doing layaway for the last three years. The only thing is if you miss many payments, you lose all that money. Yeah, and some people are sticklers on that. So that's a whole nother subject all by itself. So, that was my thing. Um, like I said, let me see if I can tell you some of the people. Because some of the people was asking, like, who does layaway anymore? Well, the thing is, is that, I'll be honest with you guys. There are a lot of people that will probably do layaway. Um, if you ask them, even though they say they don't do layaway, if you somebody that have been, that are very, act that is very active in the community, and people can actually know who you are. Because, you know, it's a lot of people that just pop up out of it. Where you came from? And then you be talking about, can I do a layaway? Can I pay you? And then the other thing is, is when you do a layaway, keep in mind that, um, keep in mind, I think she, Gianna, I think, I mean, Stacey, I think she means like three years, like, She's been consistently with different artists. I hope not a whole three year plan, child. Cause who you buying? Claire Tella or Roman Stratum themselves? <laughs> not the whole artist. I want the whole artist to live his, live to buy. But no, she. I think she mean like multiple, uh, like transactions. Yeah, I looked at it too. Like, mm, who your artist is? Child, that doll ain't gonna even be. <laughs> after a while, that doll ain't even gonna be good. That's another thing. I know Lily and Breville for Silicone Babies. Um, Lily and Breville and Hey Embrace in Reborns. Um, Lily and Breville, she does silicone kits, blanks, 
and um now that claire Te claire teller pours for her but she is now she have the soft silicone and equiflex 20 i think is what they normally pour in and um all in one piece or the jointed neck whichever you prefer drinking wet or not oh and some of them are available options you do you know you need to get with artists don't come messaging me because i don't know i don't know which ones have which features but however she does a long layaway like 12 months child after 12 months honey i be done Ooh, child, I've been mean, seeing so many different things. I don't know if I can make it. But if you need 12 months and she take a small down payment, somewhere like four or five hundred dollars. And I say small on the scale of things because I know that's still a lot of money. But um, when y'all message people, ask them about layaway. One reason why some of y'all get a no is when you be like, I'm on a fixed income. I want to buy this doll. I see that it's ten thousand dollars, but I got a hundred dollars to put down today and I need like six years to pay no you're not gonna get laid away um i'm on a fixed income i only get like eight hundred dollars a month but i could pay you six hundred a month but i'm gonna give you a dollar today or a hundred dollars today ma'am if you only making eight hundred dollars a month you telling me you're gonna give me six hundred dollars where you gonna live where you gonna sleep what you gonna eat um ma'am use a lie so anyway i'm just saying just when you approach the artist you know, let them know if you just need a short plan, like 30 days or 60 days, sometimes they will do it. Right. Um, exactly, Tabby. Great point. I think if you're new to the community, you should save your money so the artist can see that you're a serious buyer before you lay away the high price dolls. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, mm, so anyway, I was trying to find my my post so i can um tell y'all some of these people that do layaway but anyway i'll i'll get that to y'all some other kind of way um i'm trying to think of some other people that you know because you know y'all be liking y'all be name brand chasing so i'm trying to holler at some of these names that y'all that i was like shocked like oh they do layaway hmm okay um but i think also this ties into why some people um some of the doll shops really work with you more than others yes and i i understand that like this is why some people want to do um i miss what silly dollar said but anyway some this is why some people i believe is so hung up on doing customs because they want to do um be able to pay on time and a lot of times with a custom you could pay half down and half when they finish well that gives you you know, a couple months, because you know these hardest are slow as hell anyway. They be like, oh, I'm going to get your baby done in six weeks. That mean like six months. So, that gives you time enough to pay. Now, I'm not saying for you to assume that and go and sign up on a layaway and be like, Serenity said, your six weeks means six months. Don't do that, because she's going to lose all your money. Because she'll be just that one that be right on time. Look, baby, we don't do promotions here. You don't come on here promoting your channel. I'm going to tell you, I'm real, real, and real straight. I'm going to tell you right now. I ain't asking. Listen, if you ain't you ain't paying me, you ain't super chatting me, none of that, I ain't making no money off of you, don't come making no money off of me. Don't come promoting your channel on my page. you either here for the tea or you're not. All right, now let's move on because I'm, 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 I'm telling you, Sunday I'll be in my truth. And when I be in my truth, I have a problem with people doing little sideways stuff, okay? All right, let's move on. Let's not be petty. I'm going to try not to be petty a little bit tonight. All right, so... Anyway, I think that that's why a lot of people like customs because of that reason. And I can understand it and get it. So, layaway can be very good or it can be very bad. Um, like I said, a lot of people get stuck with dolls because collectors change their mind. And then they don't realize all that the, the artists have put into it. And they sit in a hole in this doll. And then now... New kids done came out, which is going to make it harder for the artist to resell that doll. You'd be like, oh, she could just sell it to somebody. No, it's not that easy. Now she got an outdated product. And then not only that, especially with customs, because now she done made it to your specifications. Now you don't ask for Shirley Sue with green eyes and, um, like I told y'all, dark black skin with pink lips. Don't nobody want that clown baby but you. And now you done backed out. What's she going to do with that? Okay. Anyway, y'all play with me. I'm going to be knocking at your door. But anyway, thank you, girl. Thank you. Um, 
and and hey Annie. So anyway, so that that was the next subject, and I'm talking so fast because I'm trying to get, you know, trying to get through it. You know what I mean? Cause y'all y'all know y'all y'all know. And oh wait a minute, and let's speak about layaway on eBay. Why artists started that foolishness? I don't even know. Which gonna get us into the next topic? I don't know why they started that with with eBay because I have a real problem. I'd be real mad. I'm talking about I be baby when I. When I tell you I be looking at them messages like this, are you willing to sell it? Lay away? Uh, hell no. Did did I say I wanted lay away? Like, didn't eBay, didn't my thing say buy it now? It didn't say buy it later. It didn't say put something on it. It said buy it now. And then they be talking about, can they, can I? Mm-mm. But that's these artists' fault. Because when I put something on lay away, that means I'm thirsty. That means I want my money right then. I need it. I need it. I want it. Either my light bill do, my rent do. Baby needs some new pampers. Somebody needs some edges. I'm trying to pay for a root job that I don't pay for. Something is going on. I need my money, so I put it on eBay. But they do have some type of layaway. I don't know how they do it, Annie. I really don't know how they actually do it, but they do offer it. I see a lot of artists, even big-time artists, be doing it. I be like, y'all stop that foolishness. Because when people be messaging me, I be real mad. I'm talking about I be, I be pissed. I be like, why... Oh, what? Anyway, hey, Kadika I, I I saw you, baby. I saw you. Mm. Hey, keeping you, keeping up with Zola. Um, but yeah. So, anyway, also getting to so getting to the eBay. Yeah, but they do. Um, put it, and that's another thing. Will you take? Will you take such and such? Did I see? Did you see? Make me an offer. Because they do have that option there. I know about that option, but I don't use that. Because I don't want you to make me off. I already set my price. I know what I want. Because them fees, eBay fees, is like 14%. When you, by the time you, when you put a baby on eBay, you're going to have like 14%. You're going to have about 14% 14, 14 cut out of your money. Okay? So, um... But but did you buy her off of eBay? Did you did you win her on eBay? That's what I'm saying. Did you win her actually win her on eBay or it was after the auction when you contacted her? Cause see, that's a whole nother, you know what I mean? Anyway, either way it go. That's that's you know. That's that's their 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 business. Their you know how they do it, but I I'm not with that. I uh, uh when I put it on eBay, I want all my money. If you want to work something out with me, let's we do that after outside of eBay, cause I don't have time. If eBay charge you all on fees too, and then I do a little, and then y'all back out later. Oh no, child no. Mm -mm. Anyway, speaking of eBay, you know they have the buy it now or the auctions. My thing is, I prefer the auctions. I mean, I'm sorry, the buy it now. But I found myself lately, I've been bidding and winning. <laughs> yes, girl, yes. One time I didn't win, right? I was kind of feeling myself. I was feeling kind of bad. But then I was like, thank you, because I didn't know how I was going to come up with that money. I mean, you know what I mean, like put it back. So I really shouldn't have been spending anyway, but I will bid. I'm going to tell you when I don't like to bid. If that auction jumps, if that, hey June, if that option, if that auction jumps up like a tremendous amount, I feel like somebody's shielding with that auction. I feel like your friend, your bestie is over there bidding up this stuff, trying to get into my pockets deeper. I'm going to leave you and your friend right there bidding by yourself. I don't have time for those games. But if it looked like it's a re legit bid and we just, you know, kind of going at it at a, at a steady pace towards the end, I'm okay for that. I'll bid then. But don't come playing with that foolery. I don't. I, I will back out gracefully and let you have it. You and your friend going to be stuck with that dog. And y'all going to be seeing another post saying, non-paying bidder. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times there are non-payer bidders, but there's also those times where it was an artist playing around and they lost their real 
customer playing around trying to get more coins. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're not gonna we're not gonna stay on that too long because you know they don't like for me to talk about these artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they don't like me to talk about these artists because you know. Oh, baby, when let me tell you, when I be bidding, baby, I be in it to win it, and I'm telling you, it's just so addictive. Don't if you don't intend on really if you listen. You don't intend on going over your price, don't bid. Because, baby, bidding, baby, especially you one of them people like me, I'm aggressive. I want to win. I will keep bidding. I'll be like, I'm only going to pay $600 for this doll. $700. I'll be like, okay, he get to $700. I'm like, you know what? That's not that bad for this, baby. I'm going to go to $800. Okay, baby, at $800. What you going to do, Serenity? What you going to do? You got five minutes to help her. What you going to do? I'm going to let it ride out. Four minutes come in. I'm down to three minutes. I'm down to two minutes. Okay, I'm the most I'ma pay is nine fifty for this dog. One minute, nine fifty. What you gonna do? Two seconds. I done bid at a thousand fifty, eleven hundred dollars. Why? Cause I'm stupid. It's addictive. I'm telling you, it's addictive. The, the auction thing. It's like, ooh, child, and you feel so good, girl. You feel like you don't want the time of your life when you win that auction. You be like, yes, yes. And then when they say pay now, you be like. You mean I got to pay all of it? That's when you want to hit the artist up and be like, do you take Lay away? <laughs> do you do you take Lay away? <laughs> I just need like six months. <laughs> uh -uh. Or you message them, I was just playing. I was just playing. Can you give it to the other person? Go ahead and let them have it. It's okay. I feel bad for them. Just let them have it. But you know you can't do that, right? You can't. Don't do people like that. But it do. <laughs> <laughs> but I be, baby, I be in it, baby. I be sitting there like I'm telling you, I don't care. I can, let me tell you, I could be sitting on the toilet, anything. I see it's time for that bed. I'm look, I'm gonna pause. I ain't dropping nothing else. I'm, <laughs> I be like. <laughs> anyway, let me stop. No, that let me stop, y'all. Y'all don't believe me. I'm I'm such a classy person. Anyway, next topic for real, for real. Oh my gosh. Now this this gonna get a little bit um oh one last thing. Wait, before we move that since we talk about bidding, let's talk about these silent auctions. Is it me? Is it me you're looking for? Is it me? Is it just me that feel like who the hell I'm being against? You tell me to make an offer. And the highest bidder going to win. But I don't know who the highest bidder. I don't know if I'm bidding against nobody. I could be. I'm going to send you a number in the box. And you're going to say not high enough. Not high enough. Not high enough. Not high enough. And come to find out ain't nobody want that dog but me. Now I'm out of $10,000 when the other person on the offer $2,500. Yeah, no. I don't like the silent auctions. But, you know, maybe it's just me because somebody doing it because I be seeing people winning and they be happy go lucky. I don't never see the dog no more, but, you know, I hey, somebody winning. You know what I mean? I, I don't like it. I just think it's something just don't. I'm not saying that the people be being dishonest. I, I promise you, I, I promise you, there's some of them that's doing it the right way. But. I'm just saying, for me, I can't do it. Look, I'm going to need you to send me a screenshot. Send me a screenshot of the last person that bid. I'm waiting. Mm -hmm, I thought you couldn't send one. No, I don't want it. <laughs> but, no, seriously, I don't know about them silent auctions on e on Facebook. Can we do it open publicly? Can we drop it in the comment section? Why I got to be so secretive? Now I, I let me let me say this though I do understand because I'm one of those people I'm private, reserved. I don't want nobody to know how many coins I'm spending. I don't want you to be talking about oh she spent that much for that dog, mm. or oh honey child what's she doing? She must be got her sugar daddy. You know I don't want all that. I don't need all that. Mm -mm. Plus, when I get get ready to resell it, I want to be able to up the price because you know Smelly Girl said it's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Oh my God, I didn't mean to say that, y'all. Strike. Oh, I hate 
date live. Can we edit that part out? <laughs> I mean, some people say it's okay for you to profit off of your fellow collectors and make a little bit more than what you pay. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Oh God, they're gonna thumb down my video. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. It just slipped. <laughs> oh my God. I hate me sometimes. It was the coffee. I swear. Okay, okay, we're gonna move off that subject. We done we done messed up. Y'all done messed up. Y'all said it, not me. Look, I'm just saying. I don't I just all all I was trying to say was See, what happened was, is that I don't want nobody to see the price. I don't want nobody to know the prices of how much I pay because I'm embarrassed. Okay. Let's move on. How artists come up with prices? Oh, maybe we should come to this one later because we need to get off the price thing because I, I think I kind of done messed up. Is there any more coffee in here? Maybe I shouldn't have more. I mean, I need water. Is that, that probably uh, too much sugar in that coffee. Okay. I think we good now. Let's, uh, I got a little bit of water now. I ain't gonna make that mistake no more. Okay, so prices. So my understanding is when I paint a doll and I price a doll, I base it off of how it come out. So I don't price it ahead of time because I don't know if the doll gonna end up with edges or no edges. Y'all know how I feel about my edges. Or it might have eyebrows, it might not have eyebrows. You know what I mean? It might have lashes, it might not have lashes. I'm being real serious here. Um, so I just don't know how that dog gonna come out. The paint might be, you know, the nail tips might be a little crooked, they might be straight. You know, there's a lot of things that can go wrong in the reborn process, I'm being real serious here. Um, so I price my dolls at the end. So, mm, my dolls late, lately usually sell around a ball baby, normally it's around 575-ish, 550-575, that was my ball babies, like when I was doing the Gabby Gales, I think they sold ball that's 575. 850 to 900 actually is how much and that ship um is no i'm gonna say 800 to 875 something like that i think is what they 900 i don't know somewhere in there they've been selling with rooted hair because you know <laughs> child getting them edges cost and i don't root so you know somebody gotta pay it hang on me me because you're gonna be the one brushing it so anyway seriously um uh, i wait until the end um to see how the doll look and how it come together once i put it together if the doll the payment end up coming out immaculate okay so up to 900 okay i can't remember but they they come out if they come out immaculate and they're like i really love them you know i'm gonna price them all at my higher price if they come out mm, mediocre, I'm going to take off for whatever I feel like wasn't my best. It doesn't mean it's not a great doll, but I'm very picky because I, from what I'm used to getting my from other artists, I compare my work to their work or to work that I like. And so I kind of price my babies according to that. So if I price a baby around four something and they got hair, then that means it's, it's not a booboo baby, but it's like... Something didn't come out exactly like I wanted, right? So that's how I feel like most artists should price their work. Like they should price it according to the quality, according to how much the kit costs, how much they got in it. You know, that's a, another thing with, um, depending on the kits, you know, sometimes I have already, you know, off top, I have like $400, $500 invested in the doll. So on an average, on an average, I normally... Probably make, anyway, none of your business. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, um, that's how I normally do it. But I, under, from my understanding, some of these artists, they'll put the babies out and they want you to keep, 
looking at well i lie i like to say tea because it sounds better but really i only drink coffee i don't even really like tea a whole lot now you know <laughs> but <laughs> but um mm -mm -mm -mm. see you made me lose my train of thought oh yeah so apparently they, they put these dolls out. They get us all attached. They show the pictures. They be like, oh, look at Jabam. Jabam looking good. Oh, yeah, look at him. Boom, jagger, bang, bang. Oh, look, baby. Look, my baby got edges. Oh, look at the toes. Look at this. Oh, yeah, it's got all paint all on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we get all hyped up. And then you be like, how much is it? Mm, I haven't gave it a price yet. And they just feel the audience. And then when they see it's a lot of need for it, then that's when they're going to like either stick a big price on it or they're going to put it on eBay and make you bid for it. But for me, I can understand the whole bid thing. That's let let the collectors determine the value of the doll through the bidding. I'm perfectly okay with that. Thumbs up. What I'm not okay with is the fact that you got to see who all after it and all that. And then you're going to slap this big price tag on it. Okay, if you're going to do it by now, give me a price. Don't sit and price gouge me. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't, that's just my thought process. And I, I, you know, everybody can do what they want to do. But, it's, I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but, yeah, Silent Sea Angel. Hey, Tammy, Tammy. Um, Yeah, I just, I don't know. So, do y'all feel like that's just the way of the industry and that's okay? And y'all feel like, hey, that's what they should do. You know, feel like how they love it and then price it from there i can understand you can look at the whole market as a whole and say okay well this is about the going price for this and this and i think my doll fit into this and so this is you know not too much to charge this i don't know like that's okay but to me like but sometimes it's wait silly doll say but sometimes it's hard to know what to price a doll until you see how much interest in it gets but why I know what I'm worth. I don't need that. I mean, that's like me saying, hey, David, how much you think I'm worth? I already know my worth. When I finish my doll, I already know. First of all, if you're in this industry, you painting and you buying, you know what these dolls are going for. So I can look at my doll and say, mm-mm, baby, you ain't looking like you fitting over there on that side. You sitting on that side. Yeah, you fell a little short. So you ain't going to get this much. But you look good. You got nice edges. They lay down. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I gave you some eyebrows. Oh, yeah, you're going to be 800. I already know what I want. I don't have to look and see, oh, everybody want this. They, they in love with this one, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make them pay double. Because, I mean, that's like taking an $800 doll, and just because everybody love it, now I'm going to sell it for 1500 What you think? You still good with that? Huh, Gucci? Is we Gucci over here? Uh, you just cloaking for you just just saying for a friend. <laughs> well, why not? Okay, so when you on the other end of the box, and I see you you might be thinking that Sally Sue, your your buddy, your pal, old girl. You know my friend over there. She finna rock. She finna get fifteen hundred off this doll. She normally would have only got eight hundred. But when you getting ready to pay that doll and knowing that you normally would have got eight, you normally would have sold it for eight hundred, but because everybody in love with it, now you finna sell it for fifteen hundred. And you now you don't pay fifteen hundred dollars. You find out that the rest of her dolls only normally go for eight hundred. You gonna still feel like why not? I don't think so. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't do that. Let me tell you why I don't do it. I don't have a problem with making money how you make your money. Hey, like I say, if I find me a baller that's finna buy me a Mercedes Benz. In a five-story house, hey, I'm down with it. Whatever. I'm not going to tell you to put me in no trailer on wheels. Do what it do. But, when you buy that $1,500 doll and the average of their dolls normally only sell for $800, when you decide you don't want it in your collection no more and you get ready to sell it, because ain't nobody checking for that artist like that, and they don't flip that doll on you just because you it had on a real cute eye. Uh, outfit in that picture and them edges was laying just right and they did great photography and now you done paid $1,500 and now you getting ready to try to sell it and you can only get $600 what you gonna do what you gonna do what you gonna do Jody what you gonna do huh what you say you say your husband say why not 
I know he did. He said, why not? But if you would have charged him more than what you charged him that first night, what he would he gonna say, why not? Well, I guess they say he ain't tricking if you got it. Anyways. <laughs> what? Yes. Yas. 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 Oh, okay. Anyway, some dolls come out better than others, and buying these dolls is subjective. So sometimes what I think is awesome, others don't. Vice versa. Absolutely. I'm not saying I tell you right now, I, my dolls can go from anywhere from 400 to 800 to 900 real quick. Okay, Tomorrow's so Reborn says there's too many factors that come into play to be too specific with pricing, just how it, how it goes. Unless you got a significant following, they can include their clout in their pricing. Very true. Now I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's wrong. I'm saying hey, it is what it is. Cause we already done heard from several people that they feel like you know do your own research and it is what it is. But at the same time, what I'm saying me as me, me as being a sm I'm not gonna say I'm I'm not gonna say I'm smart. Yes, I am. Hell, I'm gonna say I'm smart, <laughs> smart and cute. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna say. I don't want to pay you more than what your dolls normally go for because when I get ready to sell because y'all know my attention span is real short listen I don't want to be paying you $1,500 and don't nobody ain't nobody gonna pay me my $1,500 back when I decide to sell it that's all I'm saying now if you pricing it if you want to gauge the audience and you want to see what the the desire is for the baby and you want to price it that's fine if you feel like you feel confident that that baby in person stripped down to the buck and naked ain't got no clothes on ain't got no diapers on ain't got nothing on and it still look fabulous and it's worth that money put your price on it because everybody elevate in the artistry and you do grow so strong point good point See, that's why I like to have an open discussion because sometimes y'all can, can, you know, y'all can help me. Y'all y'all can help me. Y'all can heal me. Okay. So y'all, y'all, well, y'all can't heal me. I ain't going to give y'all that kind of power. But y'all can help me. And y'all, and, and it does, they make a strong point. Your work might be done got better. And your prices go up as you got better. But just don't, just because you, this one is a little cuter than the other one. I can't, I can't. But it's it, again. It don't matter what I say. Please don't. Please y'all. Please don't. 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 Don't get your your panties in a wad. Because guess what? It ain't gonna matter. Cause I'm probably not gonna be the one to buy the doll anyway. Somebody gonna buy it. But I'm just saying. Yeah, I get it. So I get it. So I think you better buy it at a good price because I don't think we could ever sell for more. Maybe a a silicone, but I don't think a reborn. I and that's true. Reborns is a whole nother ball game. Reborns, you you gonna lose some money here or there or some kind of way. You might get lucky. Okay? And that's when that clout come in. If you done bought it from Shebang Shadanga Bang and they got a big name out there and everybody want a Shebang Danga Bang baby, you might be able to get your money back on that one. But for the most part, a reborn, you can count that as a loss. Now silicone, they pretty depends on who it's from, it's gonna pretty much hold its value. A little bit close enough and some of these people like like old girl say if you don't do your research <laughs> you might get got they'll flip it on you in a minute but that ain't my business and I don't really care cuz you ain't gonna flip it on me cuz baby I be watching everybody mm-hmm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah alright so let's move on alright what Apple done sent me a message. <laughs> Apple say you you doing too much. Um, what you say? I've seen how good your work is, and some of the dolls on eBay don't even come close to, and some of the dolls on eBay don't even close close to your work, and some are so high in price, and then some are way cheaper. Right, exactly. I agree. Thank you, and I I I will take that as a compliment. Mm -hmm. I be paying attention, child. I be looking. Because I, I be, I'm always looking for a good deal. I know it's a lot of people around here bragging, talking about how much they don't spend. I don't want to brag about how much I spend. I want to brag about how much I don't save, honey. I want to come up. I want, look, 
Show me where the plug at. Okay. Y'all got me. Some of y'all got me. Mm-hmm. All right. So, anyway, that's that's my thing. How artists come up with their prices. We done talked about that. Let me see. I got to stay focused because y'all be messing me up. And when I ain't got long because I got to go to work in the morning. I, I done gave up the heels. They don't work no more. I broke my stiletto. I gained too much weight. They don't want it no more. Anyway, um... Yeah, you got. That's what you gotta do. You gotta. You gotta surf a mat. You gotta surf a mat. All right. So, um, now this is this 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 conversation. I gotta give. We gotta talk about this before I go. We got 15 more minutes. We are gonna get into this real quick because I gotta make sure Gabby don't stay up past her bedtime. She done had her bath and all that. We we going So let's let's go ahead and um let's talk about this. Handling a bad box opening. You get a doll, you don't, you don't, you don't waited all your life for this doll. All your life of three months waiting for the artist to finish this doll. They done sent you these pictures. First of all, let me, let me say this. I'm gonna say this all. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Number one. Make sure you pay. How? Merchandise. Do not pay friends and family. They are not your friends. And they might kind of look like you, but they are not your family. Okay? So, don't do that. And number two. Stop approving these pictures. And then getting the dog home and having a fit. You approve that junk. That dog was ugly on that picture and you knew it. It didn't have no edges on that picture and you knew it. But you approved it. And then you get home and be like, I don't like it. I don't want it. Why did he do this to me? Don't do that. Because the best time to speak up, you can be in your feelings. You can be scared. If you scared, let your five-year-old type it for you. Gabby type messages to my artist. <laughs> let me stop. Oh, Lord. Um, mm, girl, if one of mine just wipe off, I'm going to have a problem. But for real, um, if you're scared to say something to an artist, you don't have to break them. You don't have to say, you know what this don't look like. Squat, I don't like it. It's blah, 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 blah. You can, it's a way that you can talk, communicate with that artist just like you did to get that doll done and talk to them and then tell them, hey, you know, these final pictures, you know, this baby looking kind of sideways, the eyes crossed. I didn't ask for crossed eyes. You know, it, it it's 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 you know, it's 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 one of those things, you know what I mean? Like you you gotta tell them right then. You don't wait till the artist send the doll out. They're more likely to fix it or try to help you or something like that. Then secondly, right, Rostas. Okay, but then, secondly Y'all be doing these customs, y'all be, I done told y'all this before, and I know this might sound redundant, but some of y'all need to hear it again. Y'all ask for these weird combinations, and then y'all get mad when the junk don't look good. You ask for a red head with purple eyes and blue lipstick. And you said, because my cousin baby looked like that when he was born, I don't know what planet it was, but however, I don't know if he was trying to make an avatar or a baby. But then you get mad when you get see it all together and you be like, an artist be like, I don't think it's going to look good with them green eyes. I don't think it's going to look good with them purple eyes. And you be like, but that's the way I want it. That's the way I want it. I want it purple eyes and green hair. And then when it come out and the artist be done did exactly what you said, you mad. And then you around here talking to your girlfriend, talking about her work don't look that good. He ain't all that is cracked up to be. Blah, 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 blah. No, you you picked that hot shit ass mess. You the one did that, honey. And now you mad. You over there mad. So first of all, let's start there. Stop picking these crazy choices and then get mad with your choice. And then blaming it on the artist. Now, I'm just doing it from both sides. I don't do custom, so I'm just saying. Because I don't, I, you know, I don't see y'all do it. So, anyways. Mmm. Okay, because baby, you get me, I'm going to be like, you tried it. You said your son looked like that. And he looked like Wazoo. Hey, you got a Wazoo reborn. Now you can sell it on your own time because this one coming to you. But anyway, <laughs> so, 
but seriously but if you approve the picture right let's say you approve it it look fabulous you like the way little little jimmy looking little jimmy get to you little jimmy edges ain't really there or little jimmy was kind of pinky in the picture but little jimmy look like he done seen a ghost or he is the ghost and he pale as all get out and now you mad and that modeling that you thought looked so good look like little cigarette burns and you upset and you in your feelings what you gonna do the first thing you should do is not get on facebook the first thing you should not do is call your friend the first thing you should not do is get on youtube and 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 if you're doing your box opening and you recording and you realize that little jimmy don't look like you thought it was gonna be you don't post it you you recorded it but you don't have to publish it boo boo now you done published it and then because y'all really want a box opening y'all need them views and y'all want them clicks and them likes so y'all be like this looking at little jimmy a whole time about to throw up oh my god i'm so i'm so happy about little jimmy he's everything i wanted him to be he looks just like my son but really you crying because he look little jimmy look messed up but you're going to do that and you're going to put it public. And guess what the artist going to say? You was crying on your boss opening. You said you liked him. You said you loved him. Now, nah, that's number one. Number two, when you post it, talk about it to your friends, Facebook, guess what? Facebook ain't going to give you now one of your dollars back. Your girlfriend that's in your inbox that's telling you, girl, yeah, she tried you. Yeah, 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 yeah. She ain't going to give you not one GoFundMe dollar. What you need to be doing is contacting that artist. Like a sensible human being, take a few deep breaths, breathe helpful. <sighs> Artist, Jimmy looks like he done took his last breath. <laughs> That's what you need to be doing. You need to be talking to the artist and said, look, I, I love your work. I'm not trying to offend you, but Lil Jimmy don't look like Lil Jimmy that you showed me on the pictures, is it? any way that we can work something out now if it's that bad if it's just y'all not your preference and you see him and you like little jimmy kind of cute but mm -mm. ebay if he just didn't come out the way it was it's like you thought it would be and ebay i let me tell you in all my years of collecting okay and i've been collecting a long time i've been collecting children i've been collecting men's I've been collecting dolls, I've been collecting trains and planes and all types of things. And let me tell you something. I rarely contact the artist and complain. You know what I do? eBay. Or I get on here and I tell y'all, you know what? I just, I, I did a... <laughs> what what we say? I was doing a, a impulse shopping and I just bought too many. So, if y'all are looking for a baby, Lil Jimmy is what y'all need. I'm going to show y'all pictures of Lil Jimmy. And I'm going to show y'all real pictures of Lil Jimmy. Because some of y'all like the babies look like they're halfway breathe, not breathing. So, hey, that's y'all thing. I'm going to say, look, Lil Jimmy look like he, you know, he's suffering. He he don't get a good good oxygen, you know, to him. And he's a little pale. But, if this what you like, here go Lil Jimmy. I'll even put in an extra pacifier. So, <laughs> with that being said, all I'm saying is, your first thing is not social media. Stop doing that. I hate to see people do that. And then you want to backpedal your stuff. You done did all this. First of all, num number one, you done ruined your future sale on that, baby. If that artist tell you kick bricks because you done trashed them in them forums and talk noise about them and then they not finna help you fix that baby and they not finna um let you return it because you don't went and 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 damaged their reputation guess what your fellow collectors don't want that hot mess either because you don't say little jimmy look a hot mess and little jimmy look like this and i can't take little jimmy and, and jimmy i can't take little jimmy nowhere with his little pissy tail i don't want his pissy tail either so you don't you don't kill yourself in both ways you stuck you ain't going to get no help. The artist ain't going to never want to deal with you no more. Other artists ain't going to want to deal with you because you're messy. And you, you're doing unnecessary foolishness. And then on the top of it, guess what? Your sis. Sus. Sus. Sus ain't finna buy that dog from you. Sus finna be like, you stuck with little Jimmy. 
Better get them off today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just saying. For real though. For real, for real. <sighs> I'm done. I, I'm I'm sorry, but <laughs> Don't make them get them a glow in the dark. That's fire, but <laughs> this is what <laughs> this is why I don't do that much sugar in my coffee. <laughs> I hate live streams. I swear, <laughs> I can't edit stuff out. <laughs> If y'all see some of my videos when I be making it to y'all, y'all don't get to see half of them things. Because that's why I'm, I'm stupid. I ain't got no sense. I'm sorry. Y'all forgive me because I know somebody going to be so mad with me. <laughs> somebody going to write me and say, why you talking about little Jimmy? <laughs> and don't call me and ask me to fix little Jimmy because I can't. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I can't fix with Jimmy. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't give him a pacifier. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> wait, wait. But the funniest part about it is when I see you after you be done trash the doll so much. And you done said how much you can't stand it and how bad it looked. And then five minutes later, you posted talking about, oh, I'm sorry. When I looked at him in a different light, I just love little Jimmy. He looks like he's full of life. I'm like, hell for you lying. You done thought about it now. It's too late. I don't want him. Y'all stupid. It's y'all. <sighs> oh. mm. <sighs> okay. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> y'all better stop playing and talking about the Jimmy. <laughs> But you know what? <laughs> you know what, though? Somebody got a baby named Jimmy. And I promise you, they swearing right now. I'm talking about their baby. And I don't know nobody baby named Lil Jimmy, just for the record. <laughs> but somebody gonna write me and say, You was talking about... <laughs> you was talking about Lil Jimmy. And he mean everything to me. <laughs> you're insensitive and you're a hater. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't send an email, girl. Because I already know. <sighs> okay, more right along. Maybe I had another topic. <laughs> Ooh, we gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make me a baby named Little Jimmy. <laughs> that one I'm painting right now. He look like he about to look like Little Jimmy. That thing look a hot ass mess. <laughs> I'm trying to save him though. <sighs> but I, I ain't even halfway done with him though. For real, <laughs> he ain't really got all his color. Uh, but <coughs> I hate when they go be at that ugly phase. When you painting and they be like, okay. Anyway, <coughs> Whew. okay. So yeah, talk to your artist first before you go to social media. If the artist is a pain and you know what, don't want to help you, unreasonable, and it's not something that's just cosmetic. That's something that a choice that you did, you chose. Then yeah, you can all by all means go on social media if you decide and say. Blah, 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 did me wrong. Just understand. Be careful how you say it because you ain't going to tell that baby <clears throat> when you get through. If you do, you're going to tell it for way less than what you paid. <laughs> right. Oh, gosh. They be, I'm telling you, Mo, they be doing it. Um. Oh, I got a very important story that I want to tell y'all about. I had a very great Walmart experience. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some, some of you need to stop telling other artists that their work looks good when you know it's awful. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true, though, for real. That's serious. But I'm not going to get into that because people don't like me to talk about artists. So I'm not going to get into that. But that's true. We do. 
And, you know, I'm very honest with my artists. I may not say it to them publicly or whatever, but if I get a baby and it's like, eh, I will let my artists know so they know the next time, don't do that. Because <laughs> you ain't going to keep messing up my babies. Or we going to have a problem. I ain't buying from you no more. We done. Because sometimes artists will get comfortable with you and they'll start slacking on your stuff. Mm -hmm, that's what we come down a bit. Anyway, um... <clears throat> But that's the thing. It's, you know, I just, I just feel like you just shouldn't, you should just talk to the artist first. Give them a chance to fix it because I'll be honest with you, the, most of the artists out here, even though they say you can't return something, like, most artists, they know if it was kind of iffy going out the door. They knew little Jimmy looked like he was kind of struggling. <laughs> So, <laughs> if you get, they be like probably praying on the way out. Like, I hope the mama feel okay with him like this. But if you come to them and say, you know what? Legitimate is struggling. He's struggling. He's struggling. Okay. And they will probably try to help you. But when you go and trash them, you ain't get, it's not right. Just give them an opportunity. You know what I mean? I done had that done. I can, I can tell you how, I can tell you how it is. I had, let me tell you, I was on here boohoo crying. I'm laughing now, but I was boohoo crying. I was so upset and mad because the girl said something to me. And to this day, she never came to me and said that. Now, mind you not, all that, at that point, because I was so new, and she said, she said the dog was cute and all this. She did a whole, a whole video and somebody sent it to me. And she said the dog was cute, but something around the eye or something like that, which I feel like it was, you know, teamed up with another artist that was trying to tear me down and, and break me before I get started. But yet and still, had she had contacted me, maybe we could have, you know, did something else, you know, or whatever. But I was just so upset. Like, give me the opportunity. Now, if I know for a fact that you ordered this or you... You saw this, this was a buy it now, and you bought it, and you just got some kind of buyer's remorse and whatever, whatever. Then you're going to have to fight me through PayPal. Because I'm going to be like, no. No. Because I don't do that to artists. I don't do that to artists. I have returned one baby in all the time that I have been collecting. I have returned one baby. I'm trying to think. Have I ever... Disputed in it. Mm -mm. I had one baby that I returned, and that was because I could see straight through the doll head. I returned it, and that was when I first started out, and I got dogged. Okay, so yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. People like to say, "Oh, surrender with this," and I, I don't bash artists like that. I don't do that. I don't believe in it. I think it's wrong. You know, I might do my critique or whatever, but. If I'm doing business, if I trusted you to do business with, I'm going to trust you to, to that we can work this out as adults. Um, You don't have to out them. Just don't lie to them because you're trying to kiss their butt. It happens every day. Yes, that's true. I mean, that's true. And then, but it didn't also goes to the fact that some of these people, they like what they like and it's very different than what we like. Hey, Emily's World, it's, a, it's, it's different than what we like you know sometimes we all we see things differently you know somebody might go crazy over a particular doll and you know they may go crazy over the doll and love it and we might be looking at it like she really say that's the best doll she ever seen in her life you know i'm like girl when you at the doll show you i know you saw no <laughs> but but you know what i'm saying like you it you know, people, like I tell people all the time, I, I tell people all the time, like, every artist that I've dealt with, I have never found one artist that I love every single doll that they've made. I don't even love every single doll that I make. So, yeah, no. So, yeah, you know, it can it be possible that I can get a doll from an artist and love my doll and think it's everything in a bag of chips and then you go and buy a doll from that same artist and feel like what surrender was talking about this doll look like crap. Yes, because every doll, each paint job gonna be totally different. Each time, if an artist is really good, they're gonna develop more skills as if, with every baby and you know, or it's gonna get different, you know, or maybe that particular week, 
hubby was acting crazy and pissing him off and they found out that he had another woman uh you know uh little johnny done um tore up they they the lawn riding the tractor trailer back there and they pissed off and they come in and paint your baby and it's got cigarette burns you just and my baby came out perfectly fine because little johnny hadn't hadn't pissed mommy off and daddy wasn't running around with the neighbor so i got him at a good time you got him at a bad time don't don't blame me and that's another reason why i don't um hey mary elizabeth and that's another reason why i don't be like Okay, now when people ask me, can you recommend artists? No, I can't. I can tell you who I bought my dolls from. That's all I can do. Because I don't want nobody coming back to me and saying, Oh, well, you said this was a good artist. And I had this problem and this happened to me. And blah, blah. Not my problem. I'm not getting her paycheck. I don't care. What you telling me for? I mean, you know what I mean? That's, that's kind of how I, you know. Anyway. My 9 o'clock is gone. Oh, I was going to tell y'all about my Walmart experience. Whew, and then I'm done. <clears throat> I did my grocery shopping online <clears throat> at Walmart. And it was a great experience. I went and did my grocery shopping online. Scheduled for when I pick it up. Girl, I went in my PJs. Pulled up. Beep, beep. I ain't have to blow my horn, though, for real. I pulled up. And guess what? They came and put my groceries in my trunk. And I just signed my little thing on with my little finger. And boom, my grocery shopping was done. Just like that. They went around the store and did all my grocery shopping for me and everything. Oh, my God. It's a great experience. If you guys haven't tried it, they will actually even deliver to you depending on your location. And they'll let you know if they'll deliver to you. They will deliver to me, but I was like, I don't know. I don't want nobody just running back to my house. I don't want Ray Ray or, you know, little Craig or Billy Joe ain't, on, ain't had his medicine. A little Jimmy coming to my house passing out. I don't want that. You know what I mean? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't want want that. So, but yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there, y'all. Hey, Miss Kamika Fields. Um, Walmart has online shopping and it's wonderful. Oh, see, reborn baby, hope enjoy it. June say that is the only way she do her grocery shopping. Okay, girl, why you ain't tell us about it? I didn't even know. I didn't even know. See, you holding that, sis. <laughs> you over there holding that. You holding that. But anyway, because I know we talk about dolls and stuff like that, but I just wanted to give y'all that little piece of thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed it tonight. I hope I did not offend anybody. I hope nobody don't go away with no soft feelings or hard feelings. And I really hope that nobody in here has a little Jimmy in their collection. If you do... Auntie love little Jimmy. Don't ever feel like <laughs> I don't. I just, um, I just, I was just saying. And it wasn't nobody in particular because I hope nobody, I don't think nobody in here got no baby named little Jimmy. Do y'all? Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> yes. So, y'all keep on spending that money. <clears throat> supporting us artists. And collectors, I'm a collector, so I think I'd be supporting people too. I got a custom going on right now. Um, I haven't tried Amazon, but um, yeah. But um, I do hope that we can do more chats. Um, you know, I I got tired of them trying to shut down my um court TV, but that's okay. We go. I'm gonna do it. Bring it back at some point. I just I haven't really been trying. It'd be the same old, same old people scamming people, the same old scams and stuff, and i just be over it. So I figured, that, you know, <clears throat> we'll just hit little topics here and there. Um, depending on my week, if I have a date night, if I don't have a date night, maybe Friday, we'll do it all over again. And then Sunday night. But, you know, it is what it is. Um... <laughs> And she said she's doing she out there. Oh, she in the box of the Jamaica. Oh Lord. <clears throat> but yes. Thank you, Mrs. Kamika Fields. I seen you been shining on your little pictures, honey. I seen y'all. I seen y'all, girl. Yes. <laughs> um, I love y'all for real. Y'all made my night. <clears throat> Don't tell no more of them funny stories, y'all silly. 
And sorry for the bad words, because I do say, oh, she said don't apologize. I ain't, tell, I ain't sorry for nothing. <laughs> Gabby used to say that when she used to get mad. If you miss a do something, she'll say, you ain't sorry for nothing. <laughs> I used to be so mad when she say that. I'd be like, oh, mommy, sorry. You ain't sorry for nothing. Girl, you better watch your mouth. Oh, Lord. And that's how you do it. I just had that coffee. I'm probably burning my kisses. Did y'all catch them? <laughs> All right, Kamara and Jenna's family vlogs. Tanika213, Alicia Boner. Is it? Oh, it's Boner, not Boner. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. Uh, Marcella White, Dave K. Holly, Iris Johnson, Tammy Tammy. Yes. Go to sleep, go to sleepy little baby. When you wake, you a patty patty cake. Rise and shine, little pony. Black sheep, white sheep, where is the lamp? All way down yonder in the valley. The buzzers and the butterflies peeking out his eyes. The poor little thing cried, Mammy. Oh, I got to sing that one more time, but let me tell y'all real quick. That song actually is a song that my grandmother used to sing when I was little, but I thought she said the butters and the butterflies, and I used to sing it to my little cousin, Tamara. And Tamara used to like to lick perfume bottles, lick everything. She never wanted to go to sleep, so I started singing that song to her, and that's the only song that would make her go to sleep. But when I realized that it was the buzzards and the butterflies picking out her eyes, I realized why she would go to sleep. Because she didn't want the buzzards and the butterflies picking out her eyes. So that's a good song to sing to your little bad little children. Like little Jim and them. Go to sleep. Go to sleepy little baby. When you wake you a patty patty cake. Rise and shine a little pony. Black sheep, white sheep, where is my lamp? Way down yonder in the valley. The buzzers and the butterflies picking out his eyes. The poor little thing cried. That's my country voice right now. The poor little thing cried. me. Okay. No, child, she, I think she, um, she a R.E.N. or something like that. Oh, she probably trying to save them churn from the buzzers. The buzzers are picking out her eyes now. Anyway, see you guys later. And I don't know how to close this out. I don't know because they done changed this stupidness. Okay.